Hey, what's up, JP Sabres? Uh, this is a quick demo video for you for your high ground ISP Sabres and props. Um, this is install the Profi. It's got a two button setup, so your front switch, that's your activation, um, and then your back switch, that's your auxiliary. You've got uh, stock V3s in here for your NeoPixel connector. And then how you get to everything is you want to unscrew the pommel. And I will tell you what I did to the pommel here in a second for sound venting, okay? I'll take that off make sure we don't drop it you'll see your chassis sticking out but before you go to pull this out you're going to want to take this big rebly here and unscrew it uh, just give it a few turns it's what locks down the chassis right so unscrew that and then you can take this guy and you can pull it right out um, you've got an so 14 pin uh, connector in there that never comes out and then this is your chassis so you got a removable battery setup right here You've got the other side of that SOPCB setup and your profi board right here. You've got access to your micro USB and your SD card and you never have to move the board. And then of course your two switches right here that I'll show you how to line up in your control box. Lastly, a uh, 20 millimeter Smuggler's Outpost Elite speaker and it's fully enclosed. So this guy sounds really good. Now when you and I talked about the pommel, he said, uh, we could put a rubber washer in here or something to back this out a little bit for sound venting. Uh, I didn't have anything like that uh, laying around. I actually had one thing, but it didn't work. So it was too big. So what I did was I went in here, um, I glued down that screw to that, that piece right there that, uh, that it screws into. So you could come over here and you could back this up or twist it in, whatever you want to do. But I made that screw stationary and that's how I vented that for sound you can barely see it right there but it, it, it sounds very good all right so we'll throw a battery in remember about your spring side over here very loud so what you want to do there's nothing here to clock the chassis so when you're putting this chassis in you're just going to want to make sure that you take your two switches here and you line them up to your control box After doing this a few times, you'll get the uh, the hang of it really easy. And then we're going to push down on the chassis as we lock this freely in. And then it locks everything in. You can actually see I got your LEDs doing a little something because I did wire these independently. Um, there's a copy of your config file on your SD card and you can see what I did there. Um, but yeah, your 16 LEDs on your PCB here are wired separately from your blade. So each one of your Sound fonts has two blade styles, okay? And we'll go ahead and we'll, we will screw this in, hit power. So this fires right up. Now if we turn it off, these are just doing like a slow rotate and they are on a timer, so they'll go off eventually. I just wanted to give you a little something to play there with if that's something that you wanted to do. Or, or you could program not to do anything when the saber's off, that's fine too. But uh, activation. So we back that out just a little bit and it sounds really good. Back here's auxiliary. Blade locked up. And then I gave you twist off. Um, to put a blade in this guy, what you want to do is come over here and this outer or this upper ring of the emitter, you want to unscrew that. And we'll do that now. There are two blade retention screws in here. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna use them both. Okay, let me find which uh, Allen key I need. I usually set them off to the side right before I do a demo and um, I forgot to do that, so just bear with me. So we got the Allen key that we needed. We're gonna take this emitter piece. We're gonna slide it on our blade, just like that. And then we'll come over here and we'll put these in. Or we'll put the blade in rather, sorry. This has a decent amount of blade depth for a thin neck saber, um, you know, but it doesn't have a lot. So you're going to want to utilize both of these blade retentions. We'll get these locked in. Test it real quick. 
everything's looking good there. So now we can go ahead and we can drop this down and screw it back on. A little bit of a process to get a blade in here, but it's worth it. And then it holds a blade very well. Uh, this piece that I'm screwing in right now adds that much more, just a little bit more uh, blade depth and then something to hold the blade as well, right? So it works out really well. Blade lock up. Right here, if you can see that, and it moves up and down the blade. Your force waves and stuff like that. It's a long press when the blade is on. I felt a great disturbance in the force. Short press turns it off. And then you get to your sound font or your soundtrack rather. It's a long press when the blade is off. And the same thing to turn it off. One more long press turns it off. And then the next sound font is just hitting the auxiliary. C. And we're into the stock sound fonts now. And I did not have the emitter LEDs doing anything when the saber's off on any of your stock fonts. I didn't give you swing on because there's everything involved with putting the chassis in, but I gave you a twist off. like that we'll do one more smooth gray i think this is the fire blade maybe yeah. and then twist off just like that and then uh we'll go over taking this uh battery out which is easy to do right but first we want to take the blade out so we'll just go in reverse of everything that we did before screw this piece off and then move it up the blade a little bit A little bit more. There we go. And then we'll loosen these two retention screws. Just like that. We'll pop the blade out and then um, take this off while I'm thinking about it. Put it back on. It doesn't take much. With this particular saber, you can have the blade retention screws backed off of the blade and still have enough room uh, to screw this top emitter piece in but the threads are thin though so just take your time so you don't cross thread them and it'll go right on for you okay and then we will come over here and we'll take our pummel off try not to drop it loosen this guy right here a couple turns and then we can pull our chassis right out. And then from the positive side of the battery, which is over here by your board, right here, you can pop it out with your finger just like that. Um, and that's pretty much your high ground. Let me know if you got any questions. And if not, I will get this out in the mail to you tomorrow. All right. Thanks.